Okay, everybody, welcome to 256 Garage. Got a little different video for you here today. We're going to start on something that's been sitting around the shop for a while. So let me show you. All right, if you remember the little blue Mustang we painted a while back, uh, started trying to put the interior together, got a few little things done to it. You know, got the carpet in it, the back seat in it, waiting on some seat belts, got the dash back in it. Well, still got no motor. We're fixing to change that today with this old Grand Marquis. I think this is about a 89 or 90. I can't remember for sure exactly, but anyway, it's got a good 302 in it. Transmission's bad, but the motor's good. So we're gonna start pulling this motor. Well, you can see we done started, but we're gonna get this motor pulled out and get it cleaned up, put a four barrel intake on it, put a set of headers on it. I think we got some nice valve covers. Uh, dress it up anyway, make it look good, paint it to Ford blue, and we're gonna put it inside this car. So. We're fixing to get it pulled out and get started. Hope everyone hangs around. Okay, we've got the top part done. So now we're gonna get it up in the air and we'll get the manifold exhaust to manifold bolts loose. We'll get the cross member loose, drive shaft out, uh, transmission linkage. And we'll go ahead and slide the converter bolts out while we're under there. Cause to me, it's just a lot easier to get the converter bolts like that than it is trying to do it with an own cherry picker or on the ground or something like that. We'll go ahead and get the starter off out of the way and any wires or anything down that way. We'll go ahead and get them out because we are pulling the motor and transmission together. So we'll get it up in there and go from there. Okay, we've got everything loose on it. We got all the motor mounts, uh, torque converter bolts, all the wires, cross members out. Uh, drive shafts out, everything's loose. Uh, we've got it now, the jack's under the transmission. i get down here where you can see. Oh. But we're gonna ease the, we're gonna ease the transmission down and let that fluid drain. See if we can get all of it out. So maybe, just maybe when we go pull the motor, we won't have fluid run all over the floor. So we'll let it drain as much as it will out. And then we'll kind of jack the motor up some and let some more drain out. And then I'll put a bag uh, with some rubber bands or something around it to maybe catch any more. Cause I'd like, I'd like for this concrete floor to not have a bunch of oil on it. And I know Alan is great, but, <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get the cherry picker over here and start getting hooked to it. out of the car up on the engine stand got the transmission off of it transmission is no good so we're going to get it up here and get it stripped down get it cleaned up like i said we got the intake valve covers putting a small cam in it oil pan all that kind of stuff so let's get it cleaned up
get over here, we can pressure wash her off. put a front sump pan on it and we gotta put a cam in it we're gonna put a cam in it a hopped up cam aluminum intake so that's where we're at here uh, so we'll get a strip down all right so we got the valve covers off the intake off distributor gonna be a little trouble it's a little stuck uh, draining oil out of it now so get the oil drained out I'm gonna drop the pan uh, get the pan off and I'll snatch the timing cover and water pump off we know it's a roller motor for sure now so we know which cam to get so we'll get us a cam put in it uh, i think alan's gonna try to order it tomorrow or we got one anyway he's gonna try to get it and we got to find us a front sump oil pan and some ford blue paint she's coming together boys Okay, we got the timing cover off. The timing chain and gear still look real good in this thing. But we got the oil pan loose. We just ain't dropped it down because we don't want it to drip over everywhere. Uh, we got our other oil pan back there. You've seen us painting it blue. Got it ready to go on it. Uh, well, we need to put another coat on it. Uh, need to get the oil filter off, get the dipstick out of the way, clean all the gasket surfaces, uh, get the cam in it, and Get the block clean, wiped down with a grease and wax remover, and get the block painted. And then we'll get it painted, we'll get the oil pan on, we'll get the timing cover and stuff back on, uh, get our valve covers, our intake, get all that bolted on, and I'll be ready to bolt the transmission to and set the car. So keep hanging on. Okay, here it is, we got the camshaft in it, got the timing cover back on, got the lifters, push rods, rocker arms, hold it back down. Got the oil pan bolted on it, the front sump oil pans. If you remember, it had the dual sump, and the dual sump will not go in the older Mustangs. That's for like the Fox bodies. Uh, got some fresh blue paint on it. Working on the intake over there now. So we're gonna get the intake bolted on it, get some valve covers on it, and get the front seal knocked in it, and get the water pump on it. And then we'll be ready to round us up the transmission and set it in. Well, motor mounts gotta have some motor mounts. Better start looking for them. Uh, we'll get them rounded up and then go from there. Okay, we got the intake and valve covers just sitting up there right now. Just give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Uh, 
Got to, don't have them bolted on. Got to put the gaskets on it. Letting the paint dry good. I'd like to put another coat on it right quick. So I just wanted to set it on there and let them see what it looked like while it was drying. But that's what it's going to look like. Valve covers look good. Intake looks good. Motor looks good. Can't wait to get it in this thing and crank it up. So we're going to put the gaskets on tomorrow. Put the valve cover gaskets on. Get all that bolted down. And get the water pump on. Seal, harmonic balancer. Start setting it in. Okay, we just figured out. Uh, well, I figured out. We got the wrong timing cover on here. I put the same one that come off the motor back on it like a dummy. Uh, we're putting this in this old Mustang here, so we need one for the fuel pump. And we need the eccentric that goes behind the timing cover uh, to work the fuel pump. And dipstick. Dipstick goes through here. See, there's no spot on this one. Because in this motor with the double sump, it went through the pan. But in the front sump, it goes through the timing cover. So we're going to pull this timing cover off and put you a not you put this one on there for the fuel pump and the dipstick and we'll have to get us an old model water pump alan's got the oil pump i mean alan's got the water pump and the timing centric i think ordered or got to go pick it up i'm not sure but when he gets it we'll pull this timing cover off and put that one on and get the water pump on be ready to set it in all right, so we got the wrong timing cover off and we're ready to put the right one on. See this one right here is the older model. Got the place for the dipstick and the place for the manual fuel pump. So we'll put it on here and then we'll be able to go ahead and put the intake and the valve cover, glue them down. And we'll be ready to put this thing together. I got the new water pump uh, somewhere. I'll show you it in a minute when I get ready to stick it on. But right now we're gonna put this timing cover on. Okay, so right here we have, we got the water pump bolted down on it. We got the intake started, fixing to tighten the bolts down on it. Uh, got the water pump we needed. We're gonna paint it blue. Gonna get this intake bolted down and then we'll put the valve cover gaskets on. I gotta round up some valve cover bolts first. Uh, Cause I wanna make sure we got good nice bolts with these nice valve covers. And then we'll put the harmonic balancer. Of course, we're gonna clean it up and paint it. And We'll be ready to set it in. So let's get these tightened down and then we'll see if we can round up some valve cover bolts. Okay, so here we have got the motor off the engine stand. We're getting ready to put the transmission up to it. But anyway, that's the 302 assembled. Uh, like I said, we're going to cut this video right here. And then in the next video, we'll be putting the transmission in it, uh, getting it in the car. Like I said, we're missing our engine plate. We got two of them around here somewhere and we cannot find them. So I gotta, had to use a chain to hook it up. But we're gonna get the transmission bolted up to it. Start video number two. Tune in next time.